Build the God Squad you've always wanted. InstantMuckCoins.com. Instant delivery, cheapest prices, 24 7 support, use code CC, 15% off. EA tax 10% is covered. Hey, what is going on, Madden family? We're here to talk about the first uh, information, real information we've gotten on Madden 20 from a gameplay perspective. A lot of it is talking about abilities. Uh, within the game, but there's a lot of little gameplay points that uh, were, were touched. So I want to get into it with you. Uh, I didn't rush uh, so much to get this out for you guys. I wanted to really digest it as, as much as possible so that you can get uh, my my feedback or my takes on a lot of these things. Um, and you're going to see a lot of people talking about a lot of this stuff, right? A lot of people. Uh, their opinions on it are, are probably going to be valid, and there's, honestly, there's some that just aren't, aren't at all. Um, so, you since you're going to see this everywhere, I want to sort of level set uh, my experience with Madden. Right? I've been playing Madden for a long time. If this is if you're new to the channel, you maybe don't know that I have been teaching Madden to players this will be the sixth year coming up on Madden 20 and I know the mechanics of Madden what works what doesn't what's good what's bad um, I don't use words like cheese or anything like that it's all about knowing how the gameplay really works and uh, playing the chess match that truly is what makes Madden great so based on that uh, I feel like my feedback here um, is, is, is quite <laughs> is worthwhile for sure uh, and I want to break it down for you guys as best as I can um, giving going through all these little bullet points if you guys want to read this article I'm gonna put the link in the description so feel free there was a live stream today that EA did with Kralo, uh Clint and uh, another one of the developers his name slips my mind uh, because I, I don't I don't know who it is. I haven't heard of him before. So um, the big things that they really talked about here were abilities. Now we know what abilities are. If you guys played Mutt this year, you know what abilities are. They're chemistry abilities, uh, and they're changing the two different types of abilities. One are called zone abilities. The other one are called superstar X factor abilities. The zone ability is something that uh, you have to think about something that you would earn throughout the game. And then X Factor ability is something that a, a player or a card uh, would just have on them. Uh, so these are going to be available in every mode. Obviously, in Mutt, you're going to be able to do more customizing than the other modes. Uh, so we guys know that as well. Uh, so let's uh, let's go through this. I don't I, I don't want to waste your time on pretty much uh, a lot of the stuff. Um, so they're talking about 50 players in ranks. And so a lot of their talk about in here and in the blog uh, is about regs. It's not the most popular mode in the game uh, for viewers of my channel. A lot of my the viewers that I have um, are mutt players at least. So we'll, we'll try to adapt that as good as possible. It can be a little tricky because we don't have all the information. And again, these are all just opinions right now. We don't know how the game is going to play. I could say something today. When the game comes out, I could be totally wrong. So, um, the first thing with these new abilities uh, is they seem to be very important, um, a very focus point of gameplay this year. Uh, which, which again, I th think is is a huge problem. Uh, but the one sort of factor that makes it a bit of a problem to me, which I don't like, is it seems to de-emphasize actual ratings in the game. I have a problem with that. When you look at a team, you look at a card, you look at a player, you look at the ratings on the card, those aren't gonna matter totally as much. Uh, obviously they will still matter, stuff like speed will still matter, but a lot of this other stuff, it just doesn't seem to, to truly matter. So let's talk about some of the uh, abilities here that they, they went through. And again, a zone ability here is something that is earned throughout the game. Uh, and I think if, if you look at it, when they first talked about this bazooka ability for Patrick Mahomes, giving them the ability to throw the ball 80 yards, uh, 
people freaked out. I mean, I thought about it too. It's like he can throw 80 yards every play. That's that's kind of crazy. Um, or anyone who has this ability. But when you think about it, it's not that way. This is this is an earned ability throughout the game. So you have to trigger it. And I don't have a, a huge problem with that, honestly. Uh, a quarterback with really strong arms throwing the ball 80 yards in the air is not the craziest thing in the world at all. You've got quarterbacks who can throw the ball 60 yards on their knees. So what are we really talking about here? Um, it's going to really be a very unique situation when uh, this is going to be used to its fullest extent. So you're first going to obviously have to trigger the ability to have it um, avoid what they're calling knockouts here so getting sacked essentially and throwing an interception and then you're gonna have to have the ball at like the 30 or your own 30 yard line or less so it's gonna be rare that i think this is truly used um outside of hail mary situations and if you guys have played the game already you can throw hail mary's uh about 70 yards in the air currently so it's an is nothing crazy um, in my opinion, personally, uh, and then we actually get into the, they talked about some of these superstar abilities. These are abilities that the player just has all game long. Um, and there's some interesting things about them too, which I kind of like, uh, so like this no look dead eye ability, um, perfect passing accuracy on cross body throws. We hate being able to throw across your body. Uh, not a huge fan of something like that. Because then, again, a lot of these quarterback abilities are taking away accuracy and, and how it truly matters. Uh, but one key thing that they described in the stream, but not here, is all these passing thresholds and abilities don't involve high points and low point passes. Which is really important. Because if you play Madden on any sort of competitive level, you are high pointing or even sometimes low pointing passes very, very often. So that's gonna be a change in the way a lot of us uh, a play, honestly. I know for me, uh, I like to high point a lot of passes. And if I know that I'm gonna throw a perfectly accurate pass by not high pointing it, maybe I don't. Um, maybe I have to get used to that as well. But one thing to keep in mind too, just because it's an accurate pass doesn't mean it can't be intercepted if there's a defender in the way. It's fine. All it means is the pass is making its way on target. Um, escape artist. This talked about this being with mobile quarterbacks. Uh, elite speed and agility when scrambling on passing plays. Again, part of what's missing in the block. They talked about this is behind the line of scrimmage only right here. Um, and because of this, if you can uh, have a higher chance of fumbling. Now, again, this is something that says, okay, I, I understand why they did it. Uh, but if you've had mobile quarterbacks in the past at times, there are definitely times when behind the line of scrimmage, they feel slow. And if this is their way to make them not feel slow, I disagree with it. I just think that if you're a fast player, you should be able to move fast regardless of if you're behind a first down marker or not. That just doesn't make sense. Um, but... Again, just having this, to me, this is not an ability I would be going after, um, unless it proves to be overpowered. Uh, we're used to having uh, quicksand under our feet a lot of times behind the line of scrimmage, even with Michael Vick. Uh, the dashing Deadeye, uh, perfect passing accuracy, will throw it on the run, which um, used to sort of be in the game, if you guys remember, the throw on the run used to actually matter. So it seems like that this would make it matter again. Uh, and then red zone did a perfect pass in accuracy thrown inside the red zone. Both of those abilities, again, not triggered by high points and low points. The biggest part of all of this and the biggest counter, they talked about using QB spies and contains and all that, or they just mentioned the word pressure. If a quarterback is quote unquote under pressure, you know, the little under pressure sign on the screen that pops up a lot of times, these abilities won't trigger. I think that's a pretty good counter to them, honestly. Uh, and it means that there's going to be a very high premium, in my opinion, on being able to actually create pressure through blitzes. But they also did mention, too, that they were trying to uh, regulate the amount of time players would have in the pocket so you couldn't have a, a seven, eight second pocket sometimes. You know, players are still going to get through. 
And that personally right there, uh, it sounds great, but damn, is it scary that if you can only rush three and still get really, really fast pressure, it's not a lot different than this year. So I'm going to hold back on passing any judgment on that for now because I don't, it doesn't feel fair. Uh, it just doesn't. I hate that. Uh, let's talk about some of the other abilities that they brought in here. But again, blitzing is going to be very key. It feels like I will blitz all night long on people. Just like we do this year. You know where to go. MaddenTurf.com. We're going to be sending the heat on people constantly. Uh, random ability here. This slot-o-matic thing. Excels at route running. Contested catches when running routes from a slot receiver position. Again, this ability, in, it doesn't sound great to me, but you do have to be running from in the slot for this to be active. If you're on the outside, it's not going to matter. So, um, it's, it's, a, it's a cat and mouse game because there are counters to this. There are counter abilities to this. There's like a, one that was called um, Man Up or something like that uh, that I saw mentioned that would counter this. So, it's interesting. And we also don't know how many abilities cards are going to be able to get. We see that Mahomes there, he has, what, five? Uh, I believe it was. Four superstars and one zone ability. So, we'll see in my, how that's going to play out. How many abilities you can actually get. Uh, there's a lot of talk about how you're going to have to pick a team or build your team around your actual scheme, which is honestly something you've never had to do before. And we've heard this before as well. Do I believe it? No, I don't. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens when we get there. But some more superstar abilities. Um, extended precision passing on all throws except for high or low throws. If we get precision passing back just in general, I love that. That actually, that's... Precision passing is a talent. Pass lady. To me, a bit of a talent. Um... Pocket dead eye, perfect passing accuracy when passing with QBs set in the pocket. Again, that's going to be the same thing where it's probably not going to take into account lows, highs, and under pressure and all that. So again, with a lot of these things talking about, if you're under pressure, these abilities aren't going to trigger. How do you avoid pressure? You roll out. Who do you roll out with? It's not Tom Brady. I promise you that. Uh, matchup number, get open and wins contested coverage when... Uh, covered by a linebacker defensive lineman saw some talk about this as well um, It's for like running backs and tight ends like it's it's pretty clear if you're manning up a, a Linebacker you're cross manning a linebacker on Randy Moss like this year like he can be covered He shouldn't be covered by that. I'm okay with that. I Don't care how fast the linebacker is it just, it sh they, 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 they're not, if they were that good at coverage, they'd be a corner. Um, and this edge rush elite, um, very interesting. Uh, and I, I, I like this and it's something that I don't think a lot of people really have understood how Madden mechanically works. It talks about frequently uses dominant pass rush moves when rushing from a defensive edge position. What is the dominant pass rush move? It would be the pass rush move that you have with the higher rating finesse move versus power move. Uh, the way it works now, currently, this may be news to some of you guys, just because you have 99 power move doesn't mean you get to use your power move every damn time. Sometimes finesse move comes for you too. If I can focus on using the best one of those, that's great. But if you have someone like Lawrence Taylor, uh, it's a great example, with 99 power move, 99 finesse move, this ability is, is freaking useless to you. Um, but on some guys who are very, very slanted with only having one type of move, this is a really great way to actually be able to utilize them a lot better. Get more out of them. I'm okay with something like that. I really am. Uh, they talk about counters, um, the zoned up, zoned out and man up to, to take away the slot-o-matic stuff. Then you're getting the 50-50 ball. 50-50 uh, ball sounds very interesting to me too. Um, the slot-o-matic stuff talks about a lot of short routes. Uh, which is fine uh, as long as there's not some damn 50 50 flip for like lobs and if there is EA you guys have time to take it out of the game because it, there's no ball is 50 50 
on a jump pass. We've all played the game 500 in backyards or in the driveways or in the field or wherever it is. And it's not 50 50. It's not. Um, and they're going to be able to add more of these uh, abilities to players. Maybe they'll come up with new abilities throughout the season. Uh, and again, the biggest sort of question mark is how these are going to be used. In my, how are you going to earn them? And obviously, they're going to go through like the power up uh, and the upgrade process. But how many can you get? At what overalls do we unlock more? Um, what, what are the what are the rules for unlocking it? How do you get escape artists? Can you put escape artists on Tom Brady? Probably not. You know, it's interesting. Um, talking about them in franchise mode again, you can earn these through franchise mode. I used to play a lot of franchise mode. I don't really anymore. Uh, so if you guys want to go talk about the franchise stuff, there's a lot of really good franchise channels out there. Uh, just not me, and I don't. I, I haven't played it enough recently to give an opinion on the whole system. So I'm gonna skip over it. Apologies if that's what you're looking for. Um, what they talk about in Mutt here is trade-offs and choices that you have to make strategically. We've heard this before. If you're a player who have, <laughs> I'm gonna read this. I hate reading this stuff. If you're a player who relies heavily on pre-play adjustments and hot routes, you want to grab some pre-play abilities. Whereas if you're more into scrambling with your quarterback, you'll be interested in equipping some mobile QB abilities. In most cases, you won't be able to get them all in the same player. Maybe, um, maybe, we see Mahomes has four. If you're telling me that this pre-play adjustments and hot routes thing is going to relate to my quarterback, uh, I'm sort of curious if that means uh, something like Conductor or Gunslinger would probably fall in that line. Or if the quarterbacks are going to be the ones who are, are in control of route specialist abilities. Being able to tell the receivers to go on these routes. Interesting. Uh, but if you get four and you're get, telling me I can use Conductor and I can use the throw on the run guys and the pocket passer one and the red zone one. It's like... It's kind of NFL streetish, and that's not a bad thing. Um, a lot of people want Madden to be simulation. It's not a simulation game. It's not. Uh, new animations in the game too. Very cool throwing animations. I showed some stuff on that. Uh, a really, really big thing here is for the passing animations. They actually specifically talked about release times on quarterbacks. That they're gonna actually be different now we know that they're different if you guys have ever played with certain quarterbacks in the game you know that certain guys have a glitchy release or not um someone this year whose release i thought is terrible is deshaun watson almost unusable in my opinion someone like rogers great vic will be great uh, but they also are changing trajectory of passes which is really really important um really important that they're making balls go a little bit higher in the air uh, which means two things one the passes are going to be a little bit slower because it's even a bullet pass is going to be a little bit higher a little bit more air under it uh, and then two talking about being able to lurk underneath with routes and there's another section on that we'll cover that sort of in the, the I'm okay with it uh, but they actually really talked very interesting enough here uh, about how 99 throw power was equated to 62 miles an hour and now it's 55 it's a really really big difference now what they're saying is you're not going to be able to undercut some of these passes from a short but if the ball is coming in considerably slower you're going to have more time to actually get there with your yurzu or click on so minor trade-off there we'll see how that works the click on may be very overpowered in my opinion um very very overpowered Pump fakes, um, don't really use a lot of pump fakes. I'm not going to cover that too much. Signature animations, again, cosmetic stuff is great. Adds to the game, cool, whatever. Um, the polish that they're talking about here, oh, this, I like some of this stuff that they put in here. Streamlined pre-play, post-play, and no huddle experience. 
this is so I, I love this I love this shortening the amount of time spent showing gameplay before and after the play what's important to know is that the game clock and play clock will naturally be accelerated regardless um, when using hurry up or no huddle the accelerated clock will tick off the amount of time it would take for the player the furthest way to run and get aligned as his pre-play formation position so now when you have a, a no huddle you're not going to have to wait for the guy to run back. It sounds like you're just going to be sort of set back up. It sounds okay. I, I like, um, not necessarily that part, but less game clock parts of it. Um, making the game flow a little faster definitely is a good thing. But this no huddle or hurry up. If it really just sort of cuts to people at the line, God, that's an advantage for the offense. Because the defense, normally in those situations, has time to start setting up their adjustments. If that's not the case, and we cut out those three to five seconds, and the offense is all of a sudden at the line, and they've got conductor, one, two, bam, hike the ball, gone. We'll see how that's gonna work doesn't i don't know I, I make the game quicker sure giving the defense less time to just the offense you might just be running no huddle all damn game then they'll probably tune stamina or something uh pass rush again they talked about a significant change uh for pass rush uh, lip service pass rush is already overpowered this year we all know it you crash your line out you get pressure i don't know what to talk about this is We'll see how that plays. Uh, In-game feedback system. Uh, don't I don't need more menus and screens. Certain people do. If you're learning the game, it's great. I understand. Uh, under pressure quarterback penalties. Said it will be more impactful. Again, going back to why blitzing is going to be super important and why uh, a lot of people who just play these real passive coverages, according to what EA is saying right now, may not have the best defense, right? Maybe you're gonna have to force yourself to be aggressive to get stops. And when you're aggressive, you leave stuff open. And all of a sudden, you're playing some chess, it's pretty good. Um, looking forward to hearing more and seeing more about that. Gang sacks, okay, whatever. Rushed get up animations. This shouldn't even have to be called out. It shouldn't have to be called out, it should be just work. Uh, and I think the biggest thing that a lot of people uh, were focusing on is limits placed on lurking linebackers. Now, there's going to be ability to counter it, obviously, but linebackers aren't going to be able to make these super athletic plays. Okay, um, again, why don't you just title this, These Ratings No Longer Matter. I don't like that ratings don't matter. If I have a linebacker with, say, 99 jumping, 90 agility, 88 speed, but he doesn't have ball-in-air ability, just chuck the ball at him, apparently. What? You have to have an ability now for your user to jump and catch the ball. Sounds dumb. Sounds dumb. Um, significant, significant work towards transitions in and out of interactions. We hear this every year. We'll wait and see. Uh, they did such a good job on the blog. They put this part in twice. The exact same situation, twice. Beautiful. And some other really minor things that you guys might not know about. Um, if you guys did not know this year, Saving your settings was a real pain. A lot of times the settings didn't save. And the default for a lot of the settings had auto strafe on, ball hawk off. Horrible things to play the game with. Very bad experience. They took auto strafe out of the game. Oh, it was amazing. Game speeds. I don't know anyone who ever changed game speed anyway. And they turned ball hawk to on. The reason why they're defaulting ball hawk to on is twofold. One, the game does play better with it anyway. And two, Pretty scared about this reset thing happening again, in my opinion. Um, and there's going to be more information coming. Uh, 
I want to criticize and be critical of the information we've seen and heard so far. And I think everyone probably wants to as well. I think we need to step back and, and breathe and just wait and see. A lot of this stuff, well, something may sound great now, may not be great once the game comes out and vice versa. Uh, as long as everything has a counter, I'm fine with it. Uh, I just really, with the abilities, A, make sure they work. Please, for the love of God, if you tell me that this is perfect passing and it doesn't work, people are going to flip their shit immediately when you throw a bad pass. Secondly, from them actually working, please limit abilities and putting abilities in the game EA that are deemed as fluke. Okay? You want to have a, a, a great pass from a great quarterback? That's not fluke. You want to throw into triple coverage because someone's got the the OBJ ability? Don't. 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 Don't do it. Clint specifically mentioned a lot of this stuff is removing RNG. RNG is essentially the dice rolls, right? We need less RNG. Games need less RNG in them. That means user ability, user control, user input should matter more. That's great. That is great. But I don't think we needed to go all out with the abilities. The abilities are a selling feature of the game. That the casual person is going to be like, Pat Mahomes has bazooka. This is amazing. I'm going to buy the game now. Instead of abilities, again, let's work on making ratings truly matter. And then put the owner's responsibility back on your ratings guy who loves the Cowboys for no, that guy. <laughs> um, and then uh, the Mutt team, right? Put responsibility on the Mutt team for making sure that the cards that drop into the game play differently. Now, you want superstars to feel different? Cool. Every player feels the same. Nobody likes that. Nobody likes it. And it sounds great for Mutt in the beginning. It sounds great up until December, January, February. But I tell you what, next May, we'll go back and we'll look at the team we have this year in, in, in Madden 20 and see how much different it really is and how much different these cards play. Now, every player on your team's got four superstar abilities. We'll see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. That's awesome. Whew, that was a long video. That was a long video. This is like the beginning of the podcast. Under the hood, E with C, C, right? I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, provide me with all your feedback. Please, as always, I'm out. Peace.